What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're going to be talking about how you can know if you're getting the maximum performance from your laptop. Sometimes you get throttled and you don't even realize that you're still getting decent frames, but you don't realize you could be getting 40, 50% more performance from your laptop. Take for example right here, we've got the Asus GL504 here and we've got the Aorus X5 V6. This is my laptop that I purchased two years ago. Now both of these machines have GTX 1070s in them. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you how I tested both of these laptops and we're also gonna talk about what you can do to troubleshoot it to try to get yourself back up to that maximum performance threshold. The first thing you need to know is that your graphics card has a variable level of performance depending on how the manufacturer sets it up, but there is a base boost clock that you should be hitting on your graphics card as a bare minimum. What I do is I Google the laptop graphics card that I have in here and then I can see what its baseline specs are. Uh, Notebook Check has an excellent list of all the laptop graphics cards out there. So you just type in Notebook Check and your graphics card name and then you can see what its base boost clock should be at. When you pull up Notebook Check's website, you can see that it has a core speed listed of 1443 to 1645. That means the GTX 1070 and both of these laptops should be hitting a base boost clock of at least 1443. That said, ideally we should get performance well above 1443 on a consistent basis, but if we're running into power or temperature limitations, that should be the bare minimum of the level of performance we should expect. Now the question is, how do you actually check this? I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the tool I use, MSI Afterburner. So the first thing you want to do is download MSI Afterburner. I'll include a link to this page where I download it right here on Google 3D, just download the 4.5 stable final version. Once you got that downloaded, install it. It'll automatically install the Riva tuner as well. Once you have MSI Afterburner installed, you want to go to the little gear icon, opens the settings. Then you'll want to go to the monitoring section. Then you'll want to enable the GPU one temperature, GPU one usage, GPU one core clock. This is one of the major things right here. If you're curious, if you're being throttled, you can enable temp limit, power limit, voltage limit, no load limit. All of those basically will indicate you if you're being throttled or not. If you hit the power limit, that means the GPU is not able to perform at its optimal performance because it can't get enough juice, can't get enough electricity to flow through it. No load limit means that you're being limited because maybe you've set your limit to 60 frames per second and the graphics card can outperform that limiter. So it's saying we don't have any load, so we're just gonna reduce how hard the GPU is working because we don't need it to work very hard. I also enable my CPU usage, CPU temperatures, my frame rates here as well. And then if you wanna do benchmarks on the fly, this is another handy thing. You can go to the benchmark tab and set begin recording and recording for your benchmark here. And you can get like quick benchmark frame rate averages uh, whenever you're playing games. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at two real world laptops that are being limited by something or other and not hitting their base boost clock. Now that I have both of them loaded up, let's go ahead and identify the different levels of performance on both machines. Taking a closer look at the Aorus X5, we have this currently on 100% epic settings. We're actually running into temperature throttling on both the GPU and CPU. This thing really needs a repaste. As we looked up earlier, the ideal boost clock is 1443 right here. Unfortunately, we're not hitting that. We are boosting at 1164. We're being temperature throttled. We can see right here that we're being temperature throttled. This was boosting closer to 1500 earlier, but as it ramped up in temperature, it eventually throttled down and this is where it's resting. We're also getting CPU temperature throttled from 98 degrees. This is very, very hot. This is hotter than I would prefer. We're getting temperature throttled down to 3.1 to 3.4 megahertz, which is definitely not ideal as well. Currently, this laptop is not undervolted or optimized, but that's a whole different video. Jumping over to the Asus GL504, you can see that we're only hitting 68 degrees and 75 degrees. We're hitting much better CPU temps at 3.9 gigahertz, great. That's fantastic, but we have a major issue with the GPU. We're not hitting a consistent boost clock, even above 1000 megahertz. It's jumping from 950 to 645. It's very, very inconsistent. And we have a clear reason it's being power limit throttled, which is really, really bad. We're only getting 69 degrees. We should at least be ramping up in both the clock speed and the fans, like the fans aren't even blowing really on this thing. So it's definitely being severely power limit throttled. And you can see there's a significant performance difference here. We've got 68 FPS 
and 91 FPS over on the Aorus. Long story short, the Aorus is performing much better, but it is being temperature throttled. If you're being temperature throttled like in the Aorus X5 right here, there's a few different things that you can do. First, you can clean out the dust, make sure there's nothing blocking the airwaves, make sure you're in a cool environment. The second thing you can do is repaste the CPU and GPU. The best thing you can do is to use liquid metal. It has the best performance cooling. Alternatively, you can use a paste, which is a little bit easier to apply, but you won't get quite the same level of performance. Now, as far as the ASUS goes, we've tried reinstalling the drivers. We've done a clean wipe of the existing NVIDIA drivers and tried installing the latest ones. It did not change the performance. We went into the NVIDIA control control panel. We've set it to optimize for maximum performance. We've changed the Windows power profile to be maximum high performance. We've tried going into the ASUS software and setting it to high boost fan mode. As far as we can tell, there's nothing that can be done to increase the performance on this ASUS laptop. Based on the reviews I've seen from other laptop reviewers, this thing should be boosting closer to 1550 megahertz. So that means we've got some serious issues with this laptop and it needs to go back to the manufacturer sure for troubleshooting and warranty service. So the main thing here is when you buy a laptop, you wanna be double checking its boost clock, making sure that it's hitting at least within the standard stock base boost clocks, if not higher and above it. So there you go, that's how you can tell if you're getting maximum performance from your laptop and a few things that you can do to troubleshoot it. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. I am doing some giveaways right now. If you'd like to enter them, I'll have links in the top comment down below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon out.